So yeah, let me let me know if you guys um, disagree with anything I'm saying. If you guys think that what I'm saying is absolute BS, let me know because this is the time. Because this, I'll be reacting to this myself. Today we are going to be talking just about my plans for NBA. I watched it at 1.5 times speed. I'm not sitting through myself. Uh, I'm not. For God's sake, I said 2K22 on my team again. I literally say 2K22 in like half of my videos. This is really annoying. It's just habit. It's just habit. Yeah, I literally put in 2K22 on my team again. It's just habit. I've done it and I did it both my video or two of my three videos today. Like very, it's very easy to um to do that though. It's very easy. To, but anyway, let's go. A two K twenty three mighty. The plans for the DBG channel. Well, mostly the DBG channel streaming everything. My DBG plans. reacts to DBG. I'll do anything for watch time. You guys know I'll do anything for watch time. I'll do literally anything for watch time. This is director's commentary. Think of it. This is director's commentary into the year. So I'm putting it out there right now. This year doesn't go well. Like this is gonna be, yeah, me like giving everything I have for one potential last year. I think this could be not the end of the... I, I think there's a guarantee that I'm making YouTube videos throughout till this time in 2024. But I also don't think there's a guarantee I'll be putting in this amount of hours. If this year goes badly, the hours I'm putting in is what's going to drop. Not like me just giving up. BBG. But if I... If I'm having four hours like halfway... The effort that I plan on putting in this year, I think it's really time to step back and just reevaluate things in my life. Because the money's great from doing this but i got like 600 hours yesterday so i'm well over halfway i'm perfectly fine financially it's just i put in way too much hours into youtube and with the amount of hours i'm putting in if it continues on a downward trend that it was not towards the end of 2k22 then obviously i got to start reconsidering things looking the branch out because i'm studying i'm studying a master's degree this year as well so yeah. it's not like i have infinite free time and unlike last year and the year before there is no pandemic anymore so i actually have to live a length one thing is i don't have to play ball anymore because my achilles is kind of fecked um, but I will be doing a bunch of rehab on that. So yeah, my, my Achilles is fixed. That's the best way to describe okay. it. One really big goal personally is I want to be able to at least take one day a week off. That is like that is my biggest goal of the year. I want to be able to take. I say one day a week. I want to be able to take one day every two weeks. I want like, like I say yeah, I want one day a week off. But like, look, that's probably not going to happen. But I at least want ten. Yeah, Shake is one thousand percent hacked. Shake is 1,000% hacked. Oh, no, he's not. He's not. He's not. It's freaking... He's doing a subathon. He's doing a subathon. I just saw it. No, he's doing a subathon. I want to be able to get videos sorted so I can take Sundays off or Saturdays off, one or the other. Probably Sundays. It'll be a, what did be a really he big thing because I'm really taking days off. I have like tomorrow is actually well, Saturday's gonna be my first like relaxed day where I'd have no chat picks to do tweet a new avatar for five years. He had 25 he had subs, yeah. So, yeah. 20 so subs last time subathon. Relaxing. Didn't have to do anything. I've missed days uploading because I've like nearly died because I've been sick because I've been um just unbelievably busy. But I haven't actually taken a day to keep my feet from relaxing five years. I hope to do that tomorrow. I hope to do that a few more times. Tomorrow, I'm working like it's like two in the morning now. I'm working till like five in the morning. And I'm not working at all tomorrow. And I can't wait. It's going to be my first day. I am waking up at 2 p.m. Going right down to my sitting room. Bringing down a pillow and a blanket. Lying down on a chair. Watching the Leeds match. Watching the entire KSI card. I cannot wait. My first day. To do just do nothing where I haven't been sick. In literally five years. Oh man. You don't understand how looking forward I am to doing nothing for just one day. Sunday, I'm cool. I don't need two days. Just one day doing nothing. It's going to be the best damn day ever. Times next year. So I'm going to be working with an editor. So I'm not a very good editor. Um, yeah, as you can I see think. from my videos, you guys saw my two awards. I'll be working with him. I'll be working with that guy. So expect some more like quote unquote high quality. Yeah, shout out, shout out Lukey. I'm going to be working a lot with him throughout the year in terms of not just him editing, um, him editing my videos, just like, him helping out a little bit with the creative process for the channel because, again, two heads are better than one. Because I'm going to be, my mind, my head's going to be in 15 different places this year with all the stuff I'm planning on doing. So um, I think that having somebody there, is he permanent or no? He's going to be part-time. So he's gonna be, it's going to be a couple of videos a week. So there's going to be some, some big, every big video I'm going to do, I'm going to send to him. 
And basically, yeah, it's going to be that because my head's going to be in a hundred different places. So even though like I'm very confident that I could, I can run a YouTube channel by myself. The only thing is that if I'm doing a whole bunch of other things, I need somebody just there to kind of keep me a little bit on track and make sure that I keep my head involved in that. So, um, two heads are better than one. Like, it's funny, like, I'm going to be that, like, I'm going to be helping out with other people's channels, but, um, I also feel like because I'm, my head's in too many places, having someone else just there to help the creative process is going to help a lot, even more so in the editing channel. But for those of you guys that really, really liked what I was doing previously, that really liked kind of like the quick, short gameplays, the very little editing, basically, there's this going to be this channel right here. I'm trying to get it monetized right now. So please sub. This channel when you're right here. Video, I'll be currently live. Yeah. Okay, will answer any questions you have. The channel is called DVD Clips. It's this channel right here. So basically, yeah, you're watching this it right is now. This going to be the channel where I make my like really you're quick Watching it right videos, now. My gameplay is where I do no editing. Like where you guys can see as much of the game as possible. So I really pride myself on that on the DVD channel. Um, I really I really like what I've done. I really like what I've been able to accomplish over the last half decade. I've been able to show you guys the most my team possible. Um, yeah, like that's that's kind of the thing when I, I like look back on what I've done and like, like, yeah, I had a bad year. And like there's times where like in comparison to a lot of other people, like I didn't have a bad year in general. I had a bad year in comparison to where the likes of Henry and Denver stepped up, whereas I would have been, felt like I was on an even playing field as well as those guys coming into this year. Like, I do just have to take a step back and just appreciate, like, I've achieved an awful lot in this. So, even though this wasn't the best year in the world, um, I still, if I'm, like, I can be a little bit annoyed. I can have a goal to do better next year. I can be a little bit pissed. But, like, if I'm actually letting a slightly down year actually upset me. And that's the difference, whereas, like, other years, I genuinely, if I had a bad month, it would actually, like, affect me views-wise. Now I couldn't care less. If I have a bad month, I have a bad month. I'm completely content with where I've done. Like if, if I if my YouTube channel goes to zero today, I'm content with my career. Not gonna lie. Um it's just obviously I'm one person. There's only so much I can do on that channel. And the thing is is that the YouTube landscape is changing, the my team landscape is changing. And we've seen from likes of Henry, Denver, SP, and it's time adapt or die. It is really adapt or die. Yeah. But one thing that I really want to do is I really like what I've been doing. I feel like it's important towards the game mode to just be able to get as much information out as possible to show you guys what every individual car can do, show you guys budget plays, show you guys really good plays. So, you, so I'm probably going to stream almost every con every day. At least I'll be streaming every content day. No matter what, I'll be streaming every single content day on Twitch. And I'm going to be using mostly stream clips here. So this is where you're going to find a lot of what has been on the DVD channel in terms of gameplays, a lot of unedited footage, a lot of just talking about the game is going to be here. But what you're going to be seeing on the DVD channel is kind of... Like we could... I could honestly say... Like, I might pay somebody, like, $10 a day to make thumbnails for this, to make thumbnails for this channel. And I'm going to send them all the PNGs. And all they have, or even, like, not even $10, $5 a day. And I'm going to send them all the, like, pictures of jump shots. And all they have to do is put my face, a word, an arrow, and then, like, a green, someone, that specific player green lighting a jump shot. So it's, like, the easiest thumbnail. It's, like, you can make five of them in, you can make five of them in 20 minutes. Um, I'm considering paying someone like five dollars a day for it, like <laughs> that that type of cheap money, because you can. It's literally, it's you can do it in twenty minutes. You can make five of them in twenty minutes. I'm gonna keep it to like three videos a day. That's kind of my goal. My goal on the DVD channel is to keep it to around three videos per day. Um, like I think that's really doable with still high quality content because I'm not gonna be editing. So things that are going to stay that have previously been on the DVD channel, news videos are going to stay. News videos are going to stay. They're going absolutely nowhere. So, like, when there is really big news, even if it isn't well edited, they're staying. Yeah. Because that's what the DVD channel is known for. So, big, big news, like, things like contracts are gone. A lot of, like, the dev blog things. They're always going to be on the DVD channel. But, like, randomly just ranting about the game is going to be moved to, DVD, to this channel right here. Random game rants are going to be moved to this channel. I'm not going to completely stop. Worth of videos are going to be there. Things like tier lists, top five lists, um... There's gonna be kind of a new thing on tier lists, a new way I'm gonna be going about tier lists. You'll see it in a tier list video tomorrow. Kind of new editing styles. A yeah, more. I'll show I'll show you guys what that actually looks like. Um, actually, I, I I'll show you guys with the new tier list. So I'm just gonna try it out. It's re it's a really kind of interesting concept. Um, and I actually I felt like it was it was good. You guys are going to probably just see it in the camera here. I'll make the camera a little bit bigger. So you can see it like here. So it's like tier list of like themes. What is going on guys? DVD here today we're going to be doing a tier list of every single promo in 
NBA 2K23 fine team. I'm going to be fighting every single one of them. So all of them from that start to the end. And the tiers yeah. are going to be ranking them in are game changing, great, top heavy. So kind of read. First start matters. So kind of going over like little bits. So for all star, I think I'm going to put I'm all star top heavy because I think they're like higher overall cards. In all star, we're definitely more meaningful than a lot of higher overall cards. Next up is alter ego. So the Halloween set. Obviously we're master as well. Golf was the best part of the game. Kerlenko was the best. So look where the game okay, came out. The CP3 was like gameplay is going on clips channel. Big game plays? No. Most game plays, yeah. Most game plays will be on this channel. 100% most game plays will be on this channel. Um, more edited. Hopefully, it makes tier list that a little more interesting. Um, most game plays definitely just be on this channel. Griffin as the first person every single tier list. Um, so basically, yeah, we're going to be still doing tier lists. We're going to be still doing news videos. We're still going to be doing the occasional. Like, there are some videos where it's like, I don't really need too much editing. Like, I completed season nine, one video, things like that. Like, that videos like that will still be on the DBG channel. So, like, in very major topic videos, like when something huge happens in the game, and I just want to get something out. Because what I, what I don't want to have is like, like if, is for example, videos like, where I put in load effort, like I use the least players, or like, when I did like these big squad builder videos, I don't want those videos getting like zero views because my channel is so against, YouTube algorithm is so against that type of content. Like this $15 video should not have 7,000 views. Um, I just shouldn't because it wasn't even in complete dead season when I uploaded that. I understand the FIFA video on 5k. That video shouldn't have done that bad. Now talking about that huge thing, it's going to be um, on the DVD channel. But I'm going to be making a limit of um, what I plan to is keep a maximum of five videos a day on the DVD channel. I don't know how it's going to go straight away. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go over five a day on the DVD channel. And I, I want to set myself to that. I want to set myself to five max on content days. And I want to set myself to like two to three to like three on non-content days. Maybe even less than three on non-content days. Um, I don't know. It might fail miserably. But I think if I can get this channel monetized in time, I can offset a lot of what I lose out on on the DBG channel initially. Because that change is definitely going to initially kind of kill the DBG channel. Not even kill the DBG channel. It's going to be uh, bring it lower. And I think that this channel, like I can just hit record, make a thumbnail, upload. I can get seven, eight videos out a day, like cutting up my streams into little clips. Because... Everyone talks about quality over quantity, but there are still, my fans are here for these type of videos. Like, you can see in the videos that do well, my fans are there to hear me talk about the game. The only issue is, is that it's really hard to kind of grow in terms of, I've stagnated. I've really stagnated like that. What I can do is, I can keep doing what I'm doing, I make really, really good money, Um. What I want to do is be able to get most of that type of like quick form content, very low effort, getting that onto this channel right here. And then spend a little bit more time on the DBG channel. And then maybe, maybe it does well. Maybe that starts to do well. Because like, it's clear that there are a lot of people that are interested in, for example, still watching, still watching me. And like, I still think that I can, like, I think I could start a channel from zero and turn it into a, the second, the number three My Team News channel after me and Ty in a week or in a month. If you look at this channel right here, like this is just no thumbnail because I'm not monetized. I'm just getting crap out. DBG's best tweet of all time, a thousand views, 900 views, 900 views. And like, these aren't that big numbers. Um, But like, I think that they um, they just kind of show that I can still get views even on a channel that's not DBG. Get somewhat okay views. And like I was even, I was pulling 60, 50, 50 60,000 views a day at stages on DBG 2 when it was the sec, genuinely just another DBG channel. But I'm going to um, try that. And also, I'm going to put a no limit on the, um, the DBG. I think it looks, I think it looks I'm going to put a no limit to this. There's going to be no editing on the DVD clip channel. I just want to make that. No, I will not clear. edit a single video on the DVD no clip editing. channel. You are going to be seeing a lot of stream clips. You're going to be seeing a lot of video reaction videos. You're going to be seeing raw DVD. You're going to be seeing what you guys like. Basically, what the DVD Docs channel used to be. So like, obviously, we do have the DVD Docs channel. And um, what the DVD 2 channel was back before the DVD Docs channel. So like this type of stuff. Just really quick videos where I'm kicking my feet up, playing the game, and um, giving my opinions on a card saying whether they're good or not. And I couldn't care less if it's quote-unquote high quality content. As far as DBG Docs goes, my plan is every three videos a week. Day. So three, three videos, videos a week on this channel. I was doing one video a day for a while, and that was really just to get this channel off the ground. And I think I kind of have. Like obviously, these videos you're seeing like one or three k after like one day, and you're like, okay, that's really not much. But that's the thing with these type of content. You just never know what video is going to take off. Like for example, um, I didn't think that the Chris Move Enemy video was going to be sitting here on 160,000 views, but it is. Um, the Julie Newman video might hit 100. The Lost and Bound video eventually will hit 100. The Jack Bill video I feel eventually is probably going to hit 100. 
So I think a couple of these videos a week is a doable one. And he's very, very doable. Our wage is going to be in clips in main. I don't plan on streaming wagers for the minute anyway. I don't plan on streaming wagers at all. Because I think that by streaming wagers, like, I think it becomes a lot less interesting. So, like, I might end up post-calming wagers. Post-calming parts of wagers. So, like, if I sudden, if I make a comeback, like, I might post-calm parts of wagers. Like, if I don't get a reaction I want. Or, if like, if I make... I can just randomly start change, change costume in the middle. Um... I'm, I might post com a lot of wagers. As in, like, pretend to live com. Putting 2,000 rupees on the line. Like, that's going to be a funny video. Like, I'm just putting it out there right now. There's going to be a fake all me and all that jazz wager for 2,000 rupees where I beat them and then lose my... And then bring out the money suit, start, like, splashing my fake money everywhere. And when I find out 2,000 rupees is, like, one euro, I lose my damn mind. Like, that video is happening because it's funny. Not because, like... People want to see it on stream, but I just think it's funny. And I think that that is something that I can very, very much do. Sustain. Watching wagers live with chat going and people in Discord great and post -com. It all depends on what the wager is. It all depends really on what the wager is. I'm not going to be doing it every day, but I do think that it's, a, again, it's content that I genuinely enjoy making. As far as streaming goes, um, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. How much, do I really care too much about streaming on Twitch? Not really. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, doing kind of reactions, playing the game, doing some like squad videos, squad builder videos just playing the game um and then i'm gonna be trying to repurpose a lot of that into youtube videos so a youtube channel that i really like that has that does that and um, they kind of get a lot of stream footage and then are able to repurpose that into yeah. um videos by getting just a good by getting good editors being funny on camera thinking of good titles thinking of good thumbnails Danny the Arons. Danny Arons. i know an awful lot of the um 2k youtubers are essentially just copying fuck crunch and i want to go a little bit different because there is room for that there is room for those squad builders there is room for it to become a, like a danny aaron's type person hopefully i think that there's still, a, it's still clearly, a bit of a niche but i have that. the uh, the retro jersey collection yeah of, i have enough of the retro jersey collection i have like so, 11 uh, late jerseys there i brought them from my parents house today but um yeah basically that is kind of the um that's kind of go with the channel as well as that as well as that it's not just going to be i'm going to be uploading on the db gold channel i'm not gonna be doing too much so basically what i'm gonna be doing on db, DB gold, goals and we won't be doing this is the fifa channel what I'm going to do on the FIFA channel is just the very occasional gameplay. You see these, like, worth of videos. We're getting, like, 2K. Some of these worth of videos. We're getting, like, 8, 9, 10K. Like, a rule breaker. Like I'm sorry. Like, those worth of videos. I was getting 10K views on some of those. I, I think my most... There was a month where I made, like, $700 from FIFA videos. And I was uploading. I was doing nothing. Like, I genuinely am just going to sit there and look at SBCs and be like, are these SBCs worth it? And if I can get to, like, 3,000 views a video, that's a couple of hundred dollars a month. And I'm happy. 7k i'm happy with that like the final three stats like basically i'm gonna be like reviewing sbcs every day reviewing the content in a little bit of a different way look than like say nepentez or nick on the foot market do and we're gonna be going full on i think there is a niche in fifa for exactly what i've been doing i'm going full is, on tactical downgrade on fifa promoting the living crap out of budget players i think there is a niche for that because nobody's really out there promoting the freaking budget god like i think we had ripper this um that dude was a budget god center. Dude was a budget god. No so was Barcazen. Barcazen was a budget god at the start of the game. There's nobody really like pushing for like who are at 15k, the cheapest, the cheapest like promo players that are gods. Because FIFA is so meta driven, I think with the new chemistry system, you will be able to use a lot more of those type of cards. So I just think it's going to be interesting. Um, if it falls flat in its face, um, so be it. I stopped recording FIFA last year because I got really sick in November. Yeah, I, I genuinely got really sick. It was like two weeks that I didn't upload a video and I kind of just stopped. So that's kind of plan for the year. That is kind of plan for the year. The plan is, I think that. I'm going to be able to make very, very quick content. Yeah. Like a lot of, most of my time is going to be spent thumbnails, titles, and videos. And I'm literally, I'm going to copy and paste. I'm genuinely going to copy and paste descriptions this year and make the most basic thumbnails ever for the DVG, the DVG Clips channel. Just get as much content out on that as possible. And I want to keep the position that I've been in, um, which is the number one source of my team news. I want so to be the guy, still be the guy people go to. So basically on content days, what my plan is, my plan is to stream from like, to stream like two to three hours, to two to three hours a day. And then, like, say when content comes out in, like, the hour after content comes out, buy, like, all of the budget players. So, like, I'm not going to be as heavily against spending money on the game this year. But, like, I think, like, I'll spend a little bit. Like, I'm not going to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. But what I am going to do is is that I just want to be able to buy all the budget players when they first come out. Like, the cheapest players, be able to consistently do that. And I'm just going to sell all my cards. I'm not going to go for collections. Literally, I'm going to buy a card and sell a card. Um sell them quickly 
Like, that's kind of what the plan is. And that, say, in the, like, when new content comes out at 4 p.m. my time, literally, I'm going to go and get all the budget cards and then over the next, like, 90 minutes, do, like, short gameplays with every single one of them. So you guys can see every one of them on stream. Start, end point. In those 90 minutes, if each of those gameplays take 12 minutes, suddenly that's seven gameplays. Or say that's five, six gameplays. All five, six gameplays. Boom. One. One after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other on DBG Clips. And then I can record a video, edit it well, um, have the worth of video on the DBG channel, record a video, a big gameplay, edit it well. Maybe if someone wants to um, let me share, play their packs, I can do a pack opening video on the DBG channel. And then maybe like one one other video later on that day. Um, and then like, yeah, something like that. Just buying a video after video after video after video on clips like that. You hear about the game mode? Um, obviously not from not from a comp perspective. I still want to be that guy, and I still think I can. Um, but the only issue is is that being that person on the DBG channel, I think that if I really actually want to grow on DBG channel, I do need to kind of make an adjustment. And I'll be using it. In. No, we spent obviously. Yeah, I'm still not completely go away from that. But um, you're going to be seeing a lot more like squad builders and stuff early on in the year because by the time I tried to bring them in this year, it was just dead season, and dead season started way earlier this year. And I just kind of fucked up. I kind of messed up badly this year, and. I don't want to mess up badly this year. I can't mess up badly two years in a row. I'm cool. I can always um, have it in my head that I messed up one year, um, which is understandable. Again, I, sm I snapped my Achilles. I was on severe painkillers for a month. The month I couldn't get out of bed for a month, and then like I'm, I gotta look at it. Like I always like I be I'm beating myself up being like yeah I just didn't have the best year and I didn't. I went in with the wrong plan. Um, I didn't upload vi certain, like, high... I didn't capitalize off my I Built a God Squad in 12 Hours video that got 200,000 views. I didn't capitalize off that and make more and more similar videos to that. I didn't capitalize where when I should have. I made a lot of bad decisions when it came to content because of how, how badly I was hurt, how strong painkillers I was on. Like, you don't understand how just out of it I was. Like, I was on extremely strong painkillers. Um, I couldn't think properly. For those first for that that month, man, it was a it was like the whole month of April. I was I barely remember that month, and I was getting out five videos a day, like, and then I couldn't breathe, like I couldn't breathe for the month of June. So it was like I had I went from like COVID to not breathing for the entire month of June, and the month of April I don't remember. So like, look, I didn't have a good year, but I also in the circumstances. Like, business-wise, I had as good a year as I possibly could have. Like, as much as I want to beat... I try to beat myself up, I also... It could have went... If there's a hundred situations, if there's a hundred different outcomes, I still did in one of the, probably the top eight outcomes. It was just probably on the lower end of the eight, whereas if I don't get that number one outcome, I'll be annoyed at myself. And I, like, I nearly died in June, and that's like a month, at least a month to recover from. Like, I had a, pulmonary, a really bad pulmonary embolism, and... Still this day on blood thinners from it. So I have no excuses for 2K22. I still work my ass off. I worked harder than I did any other year, but this is the hardest I've ever worked. 2K22 is the hardest I've ever worked. And like that's why I would get so angry when people call me lazy. And I'm like, like you don't understand. Like, and I understand, I kind of understand it because I don't give that much of an insight into my personal life. But I'm like, I'm getting really angry and pissed at that because I'm like, I'm hearing people call me lazy. And I'm working myself into the ground like i'm so ill i'm struggling to breathe everything's kind of going wrong around me and i'm working myself into the ground and hearing that so like i understand like my content wasn't the greatest but like that really pissed me off like it's that really really pissed me off this year when seeing that especially like when i wasn't really breathing and i was in a really rough spot even the like slightest bit of criticism set me off which is like i mean it's not good but it's understandable it's clear that like I had to work twice as hard to keep the same output because of just health issues. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the plan. That is the plan. I do I think I can do it? I don't know. Is what my plan is doable? I really don't know. I'm gonna be starting up some new series, maybe to get some more consistent content. I'm gonna be doing a TTO series with Ty. Yeah. It's gonna be two huge. of us um are gonna be playing TTO and we're gonna have like rotating guests. So every single week we're gonna have one guest. We're gonna be playing TTO with one guest every single week and we're gonna be uploading. I don't know what to call it, but we're gonna be trying to make it a thing and once a week a big thing where we can start getting big YouTubers. Hopefully we can get a few like big 2K my team YouTubers, big like park get park YouTubers involved. Maybe get some like non 2K YouTubers involved. Like I got good I got good connections. I can get some big names. I could get some big names involved just for one off for a video, and they just have to like sit there and do nothing. 
everyone's saying like just take some in my chat just take some days off we won't care it's not about people caring if you could take a day off and it was just about whether people cared or not in my kind of niche um i would do it the issue is is that like i start taking days off and because the way the youtube algorithm works if i take a few days off and ty doesn't we make such similar content that right now i'm getting promoted to the, the way more people than ty is but if i take a while off suddenly the people that are looking for that specific type of content ty's making the content whereas i'm not and they start clicking on ty and eventually ty just overtakes me in that specific niche so I can take days off, but I have to be. I have to get a lot of videos out. I do have to, like, I have to spam upload and at least be comparable upload rate to Ty. Like, if Ty uploads six videos a day and I upload four, it's not. That's not going to affect me. But if Ty uploads six videos one day, six videos another, six videos another, and I take three days off, he's at eighteen extra videos for people to click on that I don't. Which is, I understand. Like, if you're going for like a more entertainment ser channel, um, that makes no difference. What I'm saying is completely off. But when you're going for a news channel, that does kind of affect with the algo. Other than those videos, which I think will do really, could do really well. Um, another series that I'm trying to think of is almost like like a 2K. This is this is something that I really think could be cool. Hot ones type, um, type series where it's basically like an interview with another person. You play the game, but there's a bunch of like challenges where like you're asking questions and like between the things, it's like play till and then there's like it's like a question. A challenge and whoever loses that challenge between me and that person like this guy's a player or has to do a forfeit or something i don't know what to call it and um, blank ones basketball related if you guys can leave that yeah is there any one syllable basketball word so basically like kind of almost like an interview like hot ones but instead of obviously um taking the chicken wings and just getting naturally hot like hotter and hotter we just start doing challenges that get more and more difficult with the stakes being higher and higher um with the stakes being higher and higher not actually like chicken wings but like it starts off at the very start. It's like, oh, whoever loses a basket, I don't know, has to do like one thing. And then by the end of it, clutch ones, clutch ones. Thank you. That, that would be a, that's a not bad name. Bricked ones. I don't really like that. Ball bros. In the comments, that would be really cool. And I think that's just a way to do more collabs. Um, I think the whole system of the triple threat and um, teammates is huge the triple threat co-op is gonna be huge for the game mode and i kind of want to get in on that wave because uh, i think that if we're gonna if i'm gonna yeah i think if well anything, people are gonna blow up a little bit that. i'm gonna be bringing in card wagers how exactly i do them i don't know without breaking tos but my my plan is basically for example if a card is 200k and i put it up for a snipe isn't just for breaking TL, isn't breaking toss so yeah you're like or i put the card for a snipe so if i play for example if i play tie and i lose in a card wager for step trade um i still lose my carry but it gives tie a chance to snipe which isn't against us. What? Million percent is not against us. It not, is not obtaining MT illegally. It, I'm not transferring the card. I am putting a card up for a snipe and giving my opponent a chance at the snipe. And if it's something like a, if it's a 75k card I'm wagering and I put him up for a 45k snipe, look, it's highly, it's, or not even a 45k snipe, I put him up for like a, a 20k snipe. It is 50 50 that my opponent gets the card. And either way, I lose it. And the thing about losing wagers is the reaction of the loser and the wager is better, yeah. is what gets the videos. The reaction of someone winning and just seeing how a loser, how the loser, the wager reacts. Another thing when it comes to wagers on the Mighty Channel, I'm going to make one on the channel. I'm going to make one thing compulsory. And I want this to be compulsory amongst wagers, not like competitive wagers, obviously, but amongst content wagers is everyone has to be in Discord. Both players have to be in Discord at all times. That is like, for me, that's going to be a non negotiable. I think that if we want wagers to grow, we want those content to be funny. I think we need both players in Discord, and I'm going to be doing that. So, yeah, I'm really excited for the year. I've got a bunch of. I'm not gonna lie, I'm going full on DBG. And I'm going full DBG full this year, DBGs, by the way. You guys have never like don't know how much of a character DBG is just in general. But um I've got my I've got my characters sorted. I've already got three characters already. I've got three characters that I'm gonna bring in. Um and my goal is to have like multiple characters for different situations. Um if you guys enjoy it, enjoy that type of thing when I do it. Fair play. If you guys don't enjoy it and you guys just want to see what you have been seeing on the DBG channel, it's gonna still be on the DBG clips channel. It's not gonna go anywhere. And if you guys want to watch just watch the worth of videos, the worth of videos are gonna be here anyway, so. It's just kind of, I don't know. It's just kind of, you got to adapt with the times and this is my way of trying to do it. I might fail, fail miserably, but if I, I could, miserably, I've been doing this long enough. I I've fail miserably. 70 hour week since I was 19. I've worked two jobs since I was 19. Um, I'm still currently studying. I'm studying a master's. I'm going to be teaching. I'm going to be taking classes in a college. I think I'm in charge of an entire module. So I'll be lecturing and taking practicals this year. Um, like as I, like teaching. I'll be working like three part-time jobs while well um, as YouTube. Next year in college. So in a college. So I got people there. Nope. Outside of 2K. I'm nope. already well and truly prepped for life nope. after YouTube. So if this year fails miserably... To make a basketball channel, you have to watch so much basketball and I just don't really like watching basketball. I genuinely don't like watching it that much.
and I have to take a step back from YouTube, I'm cool with it. But as I always say, if I am going to go out, I'm going out swinging. And you better believe I'm going out swinging in 2K23. It might be the best year ever for DBG channel. It might be the worst year for DBG channel. Yeah. I prep. I prepare for everything. I'm fully content if this blows up and I have a great year. I'll be obviously happy. If this ends up dying and I have to look elsewhere on YouTube, I'll be content. I have enough other things going on in my life. If YouTube goes badly, this isn't a stage in my life where my happiness is dependent on views, my happiness is dependent on how much money I'm making. I'm in a great place in life. So if it goes badly and this is the end, so be it. It's been a great run. So anyway, like I've kind of been doing this so long that I I don't want this. I don't want the YouTube journey to end. I really don't. Um, I don't. I really don't want it to end. I want to give this another few more years. Like, because this is, like, this is the only thing I've ever really done in my adult life. But also, I got enough good things going that I'm perfectly, like, if this is how it ends, so be it. So be it. I'll adapt. I'll be fine. I got a lot of other good things going for me. Um, If this is how it ends, if this year is how it ends, it's how it ends. I hope it doesn't. I don't want it to end. But um, I'm kind of at that stage in my career where I've been doing it for so long that when I do decide to step away, I will be nothing but happy about what... There will be no, like, what-ifs in my head. There will be no, like, hypotheticals. There will be no, like, oh, what if I had just done this? What if I had just done that? Whenever I do step away, whether it's this year, whether it's next year, whether I go three, four more years, I think whenever that is, I'm going to be perfectly content, perfectly happy with what I've done in my career, uh, if I'm being completely honest. I'll be perfectly happy.